Next, synthetic application of melanic ester. The major synthetic application of fatty acid is the melanic ester and its mono and dialkyl derivatives can easily be converted into acetic acid, mono and dialkyl acetic acid. For example, synthesis of normal valeric acid or N valeric acid or isovaleric acid. Now we will see synthesis of N valeric acid that is N propyl acetic acid. N propyl Sorry. N propyl melanic ester when undergoes N sorry N propyl melanic ester when undergoes hydrolysis it gives a corresponding dicarboxylic acid which on further heating gives and valeric acid. Next, synthesis of isovaleric acid or isopropyl acetic acid. Isopropyl melanic ester, when heated, gives a dicarboxylic acid, which on further heating gives isovaleric acid. Next synthesis is synthesis of active valeric acid that is ethyl methyl acetic acid. Next important synthesis is synthesis of dicarboxylic acids. Succinic acid can be prepared by treating two molecules of monosodium malonic ester with iodine or, or hydrolyzing the tetracarboxylic ester and third heating the tetracarboxylic acid to form succinic acid. Dicarboxylic acids can also be prepared by treating sodium melanic ester with appropriate chloroesters followed by hydrolysis and decarboxylation. Decarboxylation means removal of carbon dioxide molecule. Higher dicarboxylic acids can be prepared by treating alpha omega dihalides in place of iodine with monosodium acetic sorry with monosodium melanic ester thus glutaric acid can be synthesized from methylene iodide while adipic acid from 1 to Dihalogenoethane, that is ethylene bromide. Next, synthesis of alpha beta unsaturated acids like acetoacetic ester, melanic ester contains with aldehydes in presence of organic base such as pyridine to form a product which for, uh, sorry which on further hydrolysis and followed by heating gives alpha beta unsaturated acid. In this reaction only aldehydes are used while ketones 
does not show this kind of reaction.